Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about adding and subtracting radical expressions. So if I was given this expression, negative 3 times the square root of 2 plus 3 times the square root of 20 minus 3 times the square root of 8. Okay? Well, what I want to do here now is I'm going to try to simplify each one of these square roots to its most simplest form. Okay? And as part of that, I kind of look at the number in there, so like 20, I'm looking and say, okay, what two numbers multiply to be 20 if I break it down there, and uh, which one can I take a square root of? That's the kind of goal when I'm looking at that. So uh, negative 3 square root of 2, I can't really break down anymore, so that's negative 3 times the square root of 2 right there. The 3 comes out here. The square root of 20, well, square root of 20, I know 20 can break down to 2 and 10, but neither one I can take the square root of. But I can take the square root of 4. And the square root of uh, 4 times 5 is 20. So I'm going to break this apart to be 4 times 5. Okay. And the same thing with 8. 8 I can break down to be uh, 4 times 2 or 2 times 4. And for square root of 4, I know I can easily take the square root of. So I'm going to do uh, square root of 4 times 2. And I put the one that I can take the square root of in front, uh, the first one of the two numbers I'm being multi or multiplying that. So I'm fine here. Well, this one I'm just leaving alone. Uh, negative 3 times the square root of 2. But here I can separate out the 4 times the 5. So if 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. You're allowed to do that. You're allowed to separate it. It's multiplication inside the square root. You can separate it have the two of the square roots being multiplied. Minus 3 times the square root of 4. And the same thing here, square root of 2. Okay? It's square root. Nothing nice. So then from here, we just go simplify the square roots that we can. So we have negative 3 square root of 2 plus 3 times uh, square root of 4, which is 2 times the square root of 5, minus 3 times here the square root of 4, which is 2, times the square root of 2. So now let's simplify this a little bit. The 3 times the 2 is a 6, so let's rewrite this again. This negative 3 square root of 2 is always by itself there. 3 times 2 is 6, times the square root of 5, and then minus 3 times 2, which is 6, times the square root of 2. Okay? So now we're going to combine our like terms here. Okay? Um, and so what I want to do, I'm going to combine my like terms. I have my negative 3 times the square root of 2, and then minus 6 square root of 2. These two, the, that's right, not like terms. Uh, they're the same square roots, not like terms. It's a bad word for that. Same square roots, okay? So we have the same square roots right there, okay? And I combine these two together. So I have negative 3. I look at the numbers out front. Negative 3 minus a 6 is a negative 9. So we have negative 9 times the square root of 2. And then the square root of 5 is all by itself, so we have plus 6 square root of 5. And there we go. Our final answer here is negative 9 times the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 5. So let's recap. We're given negative 3 times the square root of 2 plus 3 times the square root of 20 minus 3 square root of 8. I broke down each one of my square roots, okay, in the simplest form as much as I could. And I simplified a little bit on each one, giving me negative 3 times the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 5 minus 6 square root of 2. Then I had to combine here the square roots that were the same, right? The ones that square root 2, they're not called like terms. Um, I just keep saying that by accident. Uh, the square root 2 is uh, the same square root, so I combine those two together. And I look at the number out in front, negative 3 and a minus 6, come out to be a negative 9. So it becomes a negative 9 square root 2 uh, plus 6 square root of 5, and that is my final answer.